Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss how to calculate N in financial maths. Now before you start you need to be familiar with all your grade 11 work. What you would have noticed in grade 11 is that we had always said write down your pain, substitute what you have and then solve. Now when we are calculating P or A or I that was covered in grade 10 and in grade 11. But for N, we have a different concept. When we are doing N, we are going to end up with a power. But you are going to use logs, which we had discussed in sequence and series. Let's try the following. You've got that P is 4,000 Ren. How long will it take the investment to triple? Which means that my amount that I want, 12,000 Ren. Now, I have an interest rate of 8% per annum compounded annually. Annually means, annually means that I am not doing an adjustment to I or N. Now, N is what I want to calculate. Now, once we have our information, we simply substitute. Now we're going to get rid of our 4,000. So we have 1 plus 8 over 100 to the power of n is equal to 3. So we have 3 is equal to 27 over 25 to the power of n. Now how I got 27 over 25? I simply added these two values. Now let's go back to our sequence and series where we had discussed logs. Right, when we were doing logs, what we would have emphasized is that it is usually when we have a base, but the number next to it is not something we can think of. Like if I got 2, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, but 7 is odd. So what we do is we add a log on both sides. So we're going to add a log on both sides. Once we add a log on both sides, we're going to bring the power in front. So we bring the x in front. That means we have log 7 is equal to x log 2. So then we're dividing by log 2 because I want my x alone. So we have divided by log 2 and what we do on one side, we do on both sides. So we have log 7 over log 2. If you use your calculator, you'd end up with x is equal to 2,8. So if you remember your logs, now we've got another funny number, 27 over 25. We have another funny number, 27 over 25. How are we ever going to make it to the base of 3? So what we do, when we're doing this, number 1, you're going to put a log on both sides. So I would have log 3 is equal to log 27 over 25 to the power of n. Then you're going to bring the power in front. So we're going to bring our n in the front, giving us n log 27 over 25 is equal to log 3. How do I get my n alone? Normal standard algebra. Divide it by what it's being multiplied. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 27 over 25 and then you can press this into your calculator which will give me n is equal to 14,27. If you want to convert the 27 to months, we know that in a year we have 12 months. So you're going to say 0, 0,27 times 12 which should give you about 3 months. So we have 14 years and 3 months. Okay, let us take the same question that we had, but I have now changed something very simple. I've got Sam invested 4,000 Rand into an account that pays 8% per annum, but it is compounded quarterly. How long will it take his investment to triple? Now, based on all our previous financial maths, we know we start by writing down 
our PAIN. So if we invested 4,000 Rand, we know that our A is going to be 12,000 Rand. Now our interest is 8 over 100, but I'm going to divide it by 4 because they use the concept quarterly. Right, so if I got 8 over 100 divided by 4 is 1 over 50. I prefer writing it as a fraction because it is easier to do the calculation and with financial maths, the rounding of too early can affect your answer. Now, had we had our N, whatever our years was, we would have had our years and then what would we have done? We had immediately times it by 4. That's what we would have done for our N. Now, take our standard formula. We have 4,000 Rand, open brackets 1 plus 1 over 50 to the power of N is equal to 12,000 Rand. Now I'm doing algebra, dividing by 4,000. So I've got 3 is equal to 51 over 50 to the power of N. Now, what am I going to do? We're going to use logs. Why? Because this is an unusual exponent. The unknown has no relationship with the two bases. It's challenging. So we put a log. Then we bring our N in front. So we have N log 51 over 50 is equal to log 3. Divide by log 51 over 50. This you would press in your calculator. So we have n is equal to 55,5. But now, Remember, like your interest that you had done in grade 11. When we have our N, our N is the years times 4. Which means I have 55,5 is equal to my years times 4. So if I want my years, I have to divide by 4. which gives me that my years is equal to 13,9 years. If I want to change my 9 to months, I'm going to say 0, 0,9 times 12, which equal to 11 months. So my answer is 13 years and 11 months. Thank you for watching.